One of the most irreplicable sounds in jazz is that of the small bore tenor trombone. There's a certain quality in the sound of Tommy Dorsey and J.J. Johnson that you simply cannot replicate on your Block 42 or Con 88H. If you're looking for that sort of quality on a budget, this might just be the horn for you. Sam here coming at you with another installment of Scholastic Brass Month on the Samuel Plays Brass channel. To any new hats in the audience, welcome aboard. Hope you'll stick around. And to all the old hats, welcome back. Stay tuned to learn more about the Jupiter JTB 700 student model trombone. <laughs> Jupiter's 700 series line of brass instruments is targeted towards the young student or beginner player. This is the case for their JTR 700 trumpet and for their JCR 700 cornet. That's a really cool instrument that I have also reviewed on the channel, full video up there in the card. In any case, the JTB 700 trombone follows suit in exactly this fashion. It's an instrument designed for students. We're going to be talking about it in context of not only student brass, but of, you know, solid jazz trombones that are worthy of having as a second in your arsenal. The JTB 700 is constructed primarily from two materials, yellow brass and nickel silver, before being coated in a clear lacquer finish to preserve its lovely shine. We see the former, yellow brass, mostly on the bell section of the instrument and on the tuning slide crook, which sits behind the players they hold it up. And then we see nickel silver almost everywhere else on the instrument. There's a fair amount of it. For instance, the hand slide is entirely nickel silver, both the outer tubes and the slide crook all the way at the end. We do have also chrome-plated inner slides for a little bit of extra speed and durability. We also see the Jupiter logo prominently displayed on the counterweight of the instrument and on the bell flare. As far as technical specifications of the JTB 700 go, we've got a .500 inch bore or an even 500 as we call it, and an 8 inch bell flare. These are standard specifications for jazz or small bore tenor trombones. Before we jump too far in with this review, I would like to mention that this particular JTB 700 is on sale at Clearwater Music. So if you watch this review and decide you want to try one out for yourself or are interested in purchasing one, give us a call and we'll hook you up with one. Now as we delve into a more opinionated segment of this review, I'd like to start by addressing some player side experience things about the 700. Firstly, the balance of the instrument is great. It's very well balanced in the hands. It's fairly light, but not too much so. That counterweight provides some nice grounding in the back so you're able to get your bell angle up without kind of having to hoist all the weight in your right hand which is good because you want your right hand tension free for slide movement. And so it feels really great in the hands and it should be good for just about anybody of any size, especially considering how small I am as a person. One thing I don't like quite as much on the Jupiter is the response, which is kind of the experience of blowing into the instrument and having the note pop out as you expect it right away. It's not quite as instantaneous or Johnny on the spot as some other trombones I've played, especially small bore trombones, which are supposed to respond very quickly like that. Now, Jupiter advertises the one-piece lead pipe and nickel-silver outer slides as having benefits in this area to provide a more centered and stable response on the instrument, but I personally find that it's not quite as good as some I've played. It's certainly not terrible by any means, but it does feel a little bit slow to me. I will say the instrument has a very crisp and light high register, especially if you just don't think about it and put some air down the tube, it all just pops out very, very nicely. There are some small bore tenors that really require you to push a little bit. In fact, that Con 14H to my left is one of those. It has a great high register, but you do have to push for it a little bit more than on the Jupiter. And while I enjoy squeezing the high notes out, it's not always sustainable in the long run, especially for multiple hour recording sessions with a lot of stratospheric playing. You really do want something like the Jupiter with a very light touch up there. But with that said, that's balanced out by the middle and low registers being a little bit tough to play clearly on, and you'll hear that in the following demo. <laughs> As far as the sound of this instrument is concerned from the other side of the bell, audience end rather than player end, I think there's a little bit more cause for excitement here. Of course we are talking about a small bore trombone, it's not going to have the same full or rich breadth of sound as a large bore trombone would have, it's generally going to be narrower and more pointed, which makes it a little bit tougher to play in the advanced wind band or orchestra. <laughs> And 
of course, the natural sound of this instrument is predisposed to be very, very bright. If you step on the gas, it can absolutely peel paint off the wall. I mean, when I recorded that Radiohead excerpt at the beginning of the video, it, I felt like I was going to knock my own hearing out. That's how loud and bright and piercing the sound is, truly. But the most exciting part was for me was when I tried to back off a little bit and play some more ballad-like stuff, I was really amazed. The trombone all of a sudden had a lot more nuance and subtlety, kind of a breathiness in the sound, a tasteful one, not too airy. Kind of like the human voice at a whisper, and this trombone plays at a whisper. The dynamic range on this trombone is massive from, you know, the radio head lick to what you're about to hear now. And keep in mind here, you can make a really good case that the end-all be-all goal for trombone in any jazz setting is to emulate the human voice. That's where its roots in jazz stem from, and this trombone does a really remarkable job of it for a student model. And so what we get with the JTV700 is an instrument that sure is designed for beginner players to get them through their first several years no matter where they stick the instrument, but works fairly well for the more intermediate or advanced level players in several different settings, whether that's playing in a jazz band, especially on lead or solo trombone, or using it as a secondary horn for pep band or marching band, or even on the more unorthodox side of things, playing trombone in a rock or metal group. The trombonist in those sorts of settings generally needs to peel paint off the back wall, which as we mentioned, this trombone does well. But as we also mentioned, this trombone does plenty more. It's got a very versatile sound, especially in the upper register, but throughout the whole range if you can learn to control it. In any case, once you get a good handle on it, this is a very fun and free-blowing and easy to play small bore jazz tenor compared to many I've tried in the past that do feel stuffy or a little bit weird to play. In general, what I will say about the Jupiter 700 line of instruments is that they are not only great beginner instruments, they are great doubler instruments for intermediate players. For instance, for a fairly strong trumpet player looking to get into cornet playing and brass band playing a little bit, that JCR 700 cornet does really well. And on a similar note, the JTV 700 trombone is a great gateway into small bore playing for whether you're a large board tenor trombone player, or a bass trombonist, or even a baritone or euphonium player. For any of these people, if you need a little bit more authenticity in your jazz sound and style, this is a great option. I've had my reservations about this trombone, I've tried it a couple times and had sort of mixed experiences, but I think I do have to give this one the Sam seal of approval because it really is a lot of fun to play. Maybe we'll make the seal a little bit smaller this time. I don't know, there's not really a rigid science to this. In any case, I've enjoyed my time with this trombone and I hope you've enjoyed my time with it, I suppose. On the off chance that you did enjoy or learned a thing or two in the process about this instrument, consider leaving a like and a comment down below, and consider subscribing to the channel if you find that you are not subscribed, like, a lot. A lot, a lot of my viewers are not. It would mean a lot, it's a small gesture with a huge impact on the channel, and it's the best way to stay up to date with these sorts of reviews. And believe me, with Scholastic Brass Month still going, we've got plenty coming up. As far as current and older reviews go, you can check out the playlist in the top right corner in the card. Thanks so much for watching today. This has been Samuel Plays Brass reviewing the Jupiter JTV 700 student model tenor trombone. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.